Hi, today I'll be taking you through the connection of your first Azure tenant and subscription to Cloud One Conformity. As you can see, I've already registered to Conformity and have signed into the tool. I'm going to click here as I want to connect an Azure environment and click next. So for this screen, I'm going to give my tenant a name, call it tenant one and switch to my Azure dashboard where I'm going to search for Active Directory. So search for it at the top here. And copy the tenant ID to my clipboard. I'm going to switch back to conformity and paste it in the fields. And click next. Next, I'm going to need an Azure custom application registration and the app registration's secret key. So for this, I'm back in Active Directory where I can select app registrations on the left and click on the new registration button. I'm going to call this conformity Azure access and leave everything else as default. From here, I can copy the application or client ID and paste it into conformity. Back into Azure from Active Directory, I'm going to need to go into Certificates and Secrets and click New Client Secrets, where I can give a description, which is necessary. and click add. So I'm going to need to copy this secret value and paste it into conformity right here. I'm going to need to open this as well for, for future use. Let's switch to the custom app registrations API permissions. So let's add a few new permissions to this custom app registration. I'll go into the Microsoft Graph API first, go into delegated permissions, and I'll add user.read and user.read.all. Next, I'm going to go into application permissions. I'm going to look for user.read.all. And directory.read.all. I'm going to need permissions for another API which is just below here in the Azure Active Directory graph. And again, I'm going to need some delegated permissions. User.read and user.read.all. Directory.read.all. And then under application permission, directory.read.all. And click add. So those were the last permissions we needed, but before we can move on, I'll need to grant admin consent for my Azure directory. And so basically your permission set should look something like this one here, which is what I currently have. So since I'm on this page, I'm going to scroll down just a little bit because I'm going to need to get something that I'm going to need a little bit later, which is this JSON expression. I'm going to copy this and go back to Azure. I'm going to go to subscriptions. Click on the subscription I want. You go into access control 
and then I'm going to click add a custom role. From here, I'm going to switch to the JSON tab, click edit, delete what's already here, and then paste what I uh, copied just earlier on the help page and click save. Then I'm going to go to the assignable scopes and add a new assignable scope. So I pick the subscription I want, click add, and finally go and create my custom role. I'm going to need to go to role assignments. So no assignments exist. I'm going to add a new one. And I'm going to select the reader role for the custom app registration. That conformity Azure access. Click save. And then a new role assignment for that role we just created. The custom role for the conformity Azure access custom app registration and click save. So these last few steps, adding role assignments needs to be done for each subscription you want in conformity. This could be done a lot quicker for many subscriptions by following the automated steps in the help guide. So I've done pretty much everything I need to do in Azure. The final step will be to switch back to conformity, refresh the view here. and add my subscription. And that's it.